I walk into a room, I light it up, I bring the energy. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a high energy kind of person. Anywhere I go, I think that's what I take. Ambitious, um, stylish, and friendly, friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are talent. I think I'm really, really good at drawing tattoos. People don't know this. That was my first job. I was only 19. I'm telling you, like, you know, I, knew, I, I would do tattoos and piercings as well. Definitely I'd go for actor. For me, the main thing is just, let's make this clear today. The main thing is acting. And then there's hosting, it's basically performing arts. These other things are really just a byproduct of the main things, which is acting and hosting. I think what really makes my craft stand out is the energy I put into it. Like, I walk into a room, I light it up, I bring the energy. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a high energy kind of person. Anywhere I go, I think that's what I take. So I think that really makes me stand out. Some of the values that I've really, really, really embraced within, you know, the work space is consistency. I feel like it's very important. This thing of popping in and out, you know, doesn't really, really work, especially in this business. Yeah, so it's important that you stay consistent and that is one of the things that I've really employed. Also, I'm very timely and I'm a go-getter. I don't sit around and wait for anything. You know, people see me, I'm here, I'm there, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And they just think, you know, this thing, hey, this guy is so lucky, he just gets called and he shows, he shows up. No, 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 no. You have to get up and go for these things. The best experience for me has been to find myself in rooms with people I only dreamt of ever meeting. I mean, I've, I've had a one-on-one one -on -one with T.I. I mean, like, that was something that I never thought would ever happen. Even locally, I have been with people in the same room, on the same table. People have sent me messages on some of the biggest names in this business, and I am just like, I never thought that would happen. That is one of the best things that has ever happened to me. I think that's, that is the greatest thing. And the worst thing is when I feel like you get swindled. <laughs> that's the worst thing. You know, you, you're on a project, you give it your sweat, as I say, blood, sweat, blood and tears, you give it everything. And then project, you shall talk like, hey, producer, man, disappear. <laughs> what? Swanglish, Swanglish is, I mean, it's a, it's a thing that makes us Kenyan. I would really like to raise my glass to my mom and my dad. Basically, my parents have been very instrumental in my career, or in my life, not because they supported what I wanted to do directly, but because they were very fluid with the choices that I've been able to make. It's like, this is what I want to do. Okay, we'll do it, we see. They were not like, ah, we don't want you to do that. Who do you know who's done that, who's been successful, you know? Because, you know, the experience I have with my, some of my friends, that's the kind of, like, you know, heat they had to face to do what they do, you know, to be in this business. So I really raise a glass to them for, like, you know, just being there and being like, do it, let's see. My advice to any young guy or any young, young lady as well who's trying to get started off in the industry, First thing I would say, be yourself. Create a very authentic brand. Do not go into style because you think style will sell and you're not stylish. You know, you're, you're going to struggle at some point. You know, the thing that comes easy to you, do it, go with it. But also I believe in learning new skills and crafts so you can learn something new and you can perfect it. So also don't listen to your friends. Most, most of your friends think getting here is so hard so they might talk you out of it. So. Stay in your head and become what you want to become. Stay dreaming.